Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let all things now living a song of thanksgiving to God our Creator triumphantly raise, who fashioned and made us, protect us and stayed us, who guided us on to the end of our days. His banners are o'er us, his light goes before us, a pillar of fire shining forth in the night, till shadows have vanished and darkness is banished. As forward we travel from light into light, his law he enforces, the stars in their courses, the sun in his orbit obediently shine. The hills and the mountains, the rivers and fountains, the depths of the ocean proclaim him divine. We too should be voicing our love and rejoicing. With glad adoration a song let us raise, till all things now living unite in thanksgiving to God in the highest, Hosanna and praise. He is my comfort and my refuge. In him I put my trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him, mortal man? that you keep him in mind, man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down, touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe, shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me, draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes whose mouths are filled with lies whose hands are raised in perjury. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He is my comfort and my refuge. In him I put my trust. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. To you, O God, I will sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp. To you, who gives kings their victory, who set David, your servant, free. You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes, whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth. Our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind, our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings, happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, God of strength, you gave your Son victory over death. Direct your church's fight against evil in the world. Clothe us with the weapons of light, and unite us under the one banner of love, that we may receive our eternal reward after the battle of earthly life. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Now the victorious reign of our God has begun. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead. The time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. 
Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now the victorious reign of our God has begun. A reading from James, chapter 4. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will take flight. Draw close to God, and he will draw close to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you backsliders. Be humbled in the sight of the Lord, and he will raise you on high. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. The works that I do speak on my behalf, says the Lord. They prove that the Father has sent me. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The works that I do speak on my behalf, says the Lord. They prove that the Father has sent me. In His mercy, God sends the Holy Spirit to shine on us so that our lives may radiate holiness and faith. Let us raise our voices in prayer and say, Lord, give life to your people whom Christ has redeemed. Lord, source of all holiness, draw bishops, priests, and deacons closer to Christ through the Eucharistic mystery. May they grow daily in the grace of their ordination. Lord, give life to your people whom Christ has redeemed. Teach Christ's faithful people to be devout and attentive at the table of his word and of his body, so that they may bring into their daily lives the grace they receive through faith and sacrament. Lord, give life to your people whom Christ has redeemed. Grant, Lord, that we may see in each person the dignity of one redeemed by your Son's blood, so that we may respect the freedom and the conscience of all. Lord, give life to your people, whom Christ has redeemed. Teach us to restrain our greed for earthly goods and to have concern for the needs of others. Lord, give life to your people, whom Christ has redeemed. Be merciful to your faithful people, whom you have called to yourself today. Grant them the gift of eternal happiness. Lord, give life to your people, whom Christ has redeemed. Now let us offer the prayer Christ has given us as the model of all prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Merciful Father, may the penance of our Lenten observance make us your obedient people. May the love within us be seen in what we do and lead us to the joy of Easter. 
Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.